Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia and I'm the owner of Alicia Be Creative. In today's tutorial, we're gonna be creating this really cute nostalgic 90s tumbler. And of course you guys know that everything I use in today's tutorial will be listed and linked down below in the description box. So let's go ahead and jump right into today's tutorial. So today I'm going to be using a 30 ounce skinny straight from Hawk Tumblers and we're going to go ahead and get this tumbler prepped and ready to be spray painted. So of course I'm going to remove this little metal circle piece on the bottom then we'll scuff up the surface here and get this cleaned off with a little bit of 91% rubbing alcohol so it is ready to be spray painted. So the idea behind this tumbler is this is actually going to be part of a cup swap that I'll be joining shortly. The theme was 80s and 90s theme and so I got this absolutely beautiful vinyl from Aisha Creations in one of the latest subscription boxes and I thought it was just completely perfect for the idea that I had for this sort of nostalgic 90s tumbler vibe. So once I've gotten this cup prepped we're going to go ahead and spray paint this with just a flat white black spray paint I should say. I did then put this under one coat of epoxy. You'll notice there is a little bit of glitter there and that's okay because I am going to add a little bit of glitter mica to the subsequent coats of epoxy to really give this a little sparkle and shine. So here's that beautiful 12 by 12 vinyl that I was talking about and what I did go ahead and do is I cut a wavy checkered pattern into this so I just measured my cup after it came off of the turner and then I was able to get the correct dimensions in order to cut this wavy checkered pattern pattern out on this vinyl. So once I'm done and I've gotten that cut, I'm going to go ahead and just trim off the little bit of excess that there is for this little bit of vinyl here. We're going to be using most of this vinyl though here. And so now we're just going to go ahead and get this weeded. That way we can get it applied to the cup. So I really love this kind of wavy checkered look. I originally was going to go with just like a traditional checkered pattern, but then I decided to switch it up just to be a little bit different. I really love this wavy sort of look. I feel like it goes really well with all the other elements that I'm going to be adding to this tumbler. So for a checkered pattern, it's a little bit different than a plaid. With checkered, you're literally going to make sure that you peel off every other square. So Plaids are a little bit different, right? So when you're doing that sort of pattern for a plaid, usually you're going to want to take off every other row by row and then the opposite in the subsequent rows. But for checkered, it's much easier. But I did get stumped up a couple times because I'm so used to doing plaids that <laughs> at one point I had to remove the wrong square and had to go back and replace it. Thankfully, this is pretty forgiving and I realized it before I had gone too far. But we're going to go ahead and finish weeding this out. So what I did love about this sort of wavy checkered pattern that I also grabbed from Etsy was that the pieces really came off really easily. They were kind of like stuck together slightly and then the um, actual pattern that'll go on the cup was kind of all intertwined. So it wasn't quite individual rectangles um, as some were like connected at the corner, which actually made it really easy to be able to weed those sections out and not make too many mistakes. So of course, once I get this all weeded, so again, I'm just going back through and literally just making sure that I remove all the correct squares or rectangles off this pattern to make sure we get that solid checkered look. And then once I am done getting this all weeded, we're going to go ahead and just cut a piece of transfer tape to size for this pattern. And then we're going to go ahead and get this laid onto our pattern vinyl. That way we can get it applied to our cup. So I'm using my Tech Rep Craft um, transfer tape here, which I have gone, uh, I have begun to love, I should say. The only thing that is a little bit of a pain with this transfer tape is that I seem to only be able to use it one time. The reason being, as you'll see towards the end of this clip, is when I go to remove the transfer tape off of the vinyl, it kind of rolls over on itself. It's really hard to get it to like come off really nicely. So that's a little bit of a pain, but I do really like how sticky it is because it really does make it super easy to be able to get this transfer tape to stick to vinyl, which is usually the issue that I have and why I've gone through so many different, you know, brands of transfer tape. So what I did there was just after I had applied my transfer tape, I'm just going to cut really close to the top edge and the one side that I'm going to start with. That way I can make sure to really ensure that I get a good measurement on my cup. That way this pattern goes on straight. 
once I have gotten those two edges cut with my scissors, I'm just going to again measure twice here, make sure that everything is lined up before I set this in my cup cradle to help me get this applied to my tumbler. So I always measure a couple times just to make sure that I can get this pattern on correctly. That way I don't end up with a wonky mess because if that happens, of course, I'm going to have to take the whole pattern off and then recut it. And I only got one sheet of this vinyl. So now that things are nicely sized up, I'm just going to lay that in my cup cradle with the pattern vinyl just surrounding that with the backing still on. We'll remove a little bit of that backing about an inch or two there. And then I'm just going to push my cup down and actually roll it towards me so that that sticky side of the vinyl lays right onto the cup. I'm then just going to go back, make sure everything laid down nicely, get my squeegee tool in there and just fix that top rim and then measure it once again, make sure that everything is going to go on straight before I proceed to use my squeegee tool to roll the rest of that backing off of the back of this vinyl, getting the rest of those checkered squares applied to the cup. So this is always the easiest for me when I'm using, uh, you know, patterns and templates and things. I do like to use my cup cradle because it keeps it straight. I tend to get like all over the place when I am like wrapping a cup. And so having this like be able to move with me really helps a whole bunch. That way I don't end up with a crazy crooked looking pattern. So this is where I absolutely froze because this pattern that I grabbed is a pattern, not a template. So you'll notice here that there's kind of like this large checkered center like section where the seams meet, where I really could have used another set of wavy checkered lines. But because again, I used a pattern and sized it to my cup versus a template, a seamless template, that is why I ran into this issue. So I'm going to leave it. Originally, I was going to try and fix it. And then I realized if I fix it, it was just going to kind of jack up the next line next to it. So it just made sense to leave it because then we can just cover it up with some of the decals I'm going to be adding. I'm adding a little bit of heat to the top rim of my cup just to make sure that the top uh, pieces of vinyl go on straight. This is really something that you'll want to do, especially if you're going to be applying your pattern vinyl over epoxy like I am, because you do tend to get a little bit of puckering right at the top edge of the cup. So these are the decals that we're going to be using today. And so this was from a SVG bundle that I found on Creative Fabrica. So I just cut this on printable vinyl, all various sizes. Obviously you can size them to your liking, but because I'm also gonna add smiley faces here, I didn't wanna have too many elements. So I just stuck with like the little Game Boy, the cassette tape and the roller skates roller skates because that screams 90s to me for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these decals applied first. I did seal my printable vinyl with just a layer of some clear gloss spray paint just because I do use inkjet printable vinyl and sometimes the ink will smear if I don't allow it to sit long enough. So I didn't want to run into those issues. So I always just do a light spray paint of just a gloss spray paint over top just to make sure I don't get any smudging when I am applying these to my cup. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these kind of all placed around the cup. Ideally, I'm trying to make sure I don't place two of the same images right next to each other. So I'm kind of going around my cup just to make sure that I'm spreading these out evenly but not placing them up against each other if they are the same decal and there were other um, decals that went to this but I just picked out these three because I thought that it would go the best with number one the vinyl that I'm using and be able to really get those smiley faces in there to make it kind of look like a more cohesive look. There was a cute little trolls though that I really wanted to use, um, but I decided not to because I wanted to kind of go with just these three. So we're gonna finally put this last decal on here and then we're gonna go ahead and get ready to put our smiley faces on. So I have this smiley face vinyl from uh, vinyl gallery. It's a transparent vinyl. Uh, you guys actually saw this in the opaque vinyl a few tutorials ago when I did a retro look. And so this is transparent. So I just cut a little bit of that. And then what I'm doing here is I've just grabbed some of my favorite tech wrap craft vinyl and I'm using my two inch circle hole punch to be able to cut two inch circles. So the smiley faces are just under two inches, but that's fine because it'll create sort of a little bit of an offset when I go to layer the smiley faces on top of these little circle pieces of vinyl. So once I've gotten all of my two inch circles punched out, I'm going to go ahead and just one by one cut these out of the transparent vinyl and then get them applied to the small circle. So essentially I'm creating like a stacked sticker almost. I certainly probably could have done this in like Cricut Design Space um, and done it so it was all one 
piece, but I decided to just use what I have. You guys know that I've been really trying to utilize all of the scrap vinyl that I keep hoarding and actually put it to good use. So this was a good use of a lot of the vinyl that I've just had kind of laying around and haven't really put to good use for anything. So I'm going to continue to just cut out my smiley faces and again, layer them on top of these Tech Graph Craft holographic and pearlescent opaque vinyls and be able to then get these applied to the cup. What I did find that was sort of something I had to be mindful of and be careful of is that with my two inch hole punch, I realized that with these sort of vinyls, it did almost tear up my vinyl and I really had to be kind of rough with getting it up, like punching it into the vinyl. So you notice that with one of the other vinyls at the end that I punched out, I do it with the white side up, so the backing side up, because that seems to be able to puncture through a little bit easier than going from like the top of the vinyl down. I think just because this is, you know, a more, you know, a, a stronger vinyl, I guess, right? Not so much like our typical Oracle 631 vinyl that we use. I definitely felt like I needed to flip it around in order to get it to punch correctly and not ruin the circle. So now that I have all these layered, I'm gonna go ahead and, and just get them applied. So I was able to space out all of my other 90s decals kind of spaced around the cup, allowing me to have enough space for these smiley faces and not make them look like they're going to be super like cluttered and right up against one another, all the decals. So that was just honestly luck. It certainly wasn't anything that I had worked out beforehand. I just really had realized that I had this vinyl and I thought this would be perfect to use for the sort of look that I'm going for for this overall cup. So I'm going to continue to just finish putting the rest of this um, vinyl on top of the cup. And that is really it for today's tutorial. I know it's not super long today. Um, I know the last few haven't been and I didn't do any of the epoxying process. Um, I'm working with a new editing software. So the less videos that I have to pull into the software has been better for me for right now until I really get my footing. <laughs> but I hope that you guys are still very much enjoying the tutorials that I'm putting out. And as always, you guys know, you can ask me questions in the comments about anything in the process. But after this was kind of done, all the decals are applied. You guys know the last thing I do is I do two final coats of epoxy using Flint Sisters Otter's Cure Epoxy, and that is literally it. I cannot wait to send this off to whoever is going to be my swap partner. I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's tutorial, and of course, if you did, give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!